right now we are trying to look at the um, the video part uh, the next part how to you know navigate through the login part so right now the login is going through the previous video I made I tried to show you through all the platforms all the um, accounts and everything right now we are been able to log in in the previous video the login is not going through so look at these details uh, corporate commission please to inform its customer that the introduction of the new feature that enables the creation of insolvency practice account this process is uh, designed to streamline the automation of practitioners in the field of insolvency right you have those that are insolvency practitioners right IP okay so um, there are other public notice that will be coming up or popping up here so and they also have a, an um, your normal login uh, process here and it's also connected with your NIN as well right you can see your NIN also available here so meanwhile let's just move forward let me talk about what I need to talk about here so you can log in with your username you can log in with your email address you can log in with your uh, phone number you can log in with your accredited number if you're an accredited agent whatever the case is so right now we are logging in with um, a uh, with an aggregated account so once you click once you have created an account so if you are a pa you created a personal account you know be in the previous day I showed you how to create an, a personal account right so if you created a personal account before now all you need to do right now is just go ahead and uh, your personal account login right after you confirm your email so login so you click on login here so right now we have enabled extra layer of security right to the CRP project with two-factor integration to continue using the application you will need to verify your existing email so I'm going to verify my existing email now add a new email address to your account this email will be used to send your authentication code so make sure that it's one you have access to so that means you are going to be having two emails <laughs> this is actually very interesting this is like two a two um, two ways of verifying your account and making sure that your account is secured with them so it's not like before that once you log in you are good to go right so the first thing we're going to do is to enable two-factor authentication so um, OTP has been sent to the account I'm going to check the account on my phone I'll not be using my um, my laptop to check the account just for security reasons right um, so once you check you're going to see an OTP sent. let me re refresh my account so that I'll confirm if the OTP has been sent where's the email address okay I think this one is the email address okay oh, I've received the OTP right now so now check your email OTP and enter it here right so I've seen the OTP now I'm going to enter the OTP first I'll pause the video enter the OTP so that I'll be on the safe side right so um, right now I've been able to log in Wow I love the interface so oh, it's very nice Wow 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 right the interface looking very very nice and different okay 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 this is cool not too bad I believe you can see my screen right now, right? I believe you can see my screen. Okay, the interview is looking very nice. So this is not submitted. Any job that has not been submitted. This is pending applications. This queried applications, right? And this is the approved applications. So no longer uh, this for name reservation, right? Uh, let's this print corporation portal, right? And so that means I can interact with my pre and post corporation portal at the same on the same portal right on the same port I can do pre and post cool right I think that's cool right so um, I can check my job status at a go my name reservation right you can see name reservation this one approved this one pending approval right you can check for the um, you can go to the business registration right from here you can view details you can delete the availability code or download the receipt right there and then right uh, you can go through all the whatever the state is so I've clicked on pending application that's what is showing up down here uh, query if you have queried applications it's going to show up here if you have approved applications I'm not sharing personality these are just names of businesses and they are public informations right so if they are approved you can go ahead and you know continue to business registration okay I can check for the name of the companies here by searching for the company this is very cool I love the fact that it's looking very slick and mature right the interface is looking very slick and mature and it has this touch of excellence right you can see that it's an improvement from what you had what we used to have before um, okay you can come here to search for the names let me see if the name search is is, is possible Caris Nova 
let's see if the name search before because before you will search and okay it's not the search is not going through the search is not going through the search is still not going through the search is still not going through so let's see how it go right now so we can still check for the classification right so for this approve you can check for classification if it's just business thing you want you know this one classification now you cannot do it before right that's if you're searching anyway if you're searching you cannot do classification search based on classification of what you want to do right you cannot search and see if you want to carry a new reservation you click on new reservation to carry it out so i'll be making a proper video you know to guide you through the whole process we'll start you know all the videos we've made in the past is more or less expired now right so we have to make new videos to help you guys walk through this process so you select the business you want to reserve so if it's business name you select if it is so proprietor or partnership you click on continue and then you put in the name here uh, make who's and son let's say bimbo uh, bimbo and tope and tope I think bimbo and tope enterprise right so let's select the option so let's say maybe it's others service uh, specific nature of business let's say it is others as well and then click on you can check the availability now we are sorry the business name bimbo and tope did not pass the compliance check proposed name does not include any business name qualifier ah hey i think she could show please add a qualifier to improve the chance of your availability okay hub network okay let's add hub note you can get available available suggestion name for your business for an additional charge of 200 naira hmm TSC is looking for money all right so let's see let's pull up now let's pull up hop or enterprise hub let's say enterprise hub okay enterprise hub is not enterprise this is just a sample video enterprise hub uh, let's check for availability now hmm okay you see that it has improved the chance of it being nonetheless this does not stop you from going to the search option right don't forget we have the search option if you go to search uh where is it now uh search.cc.go.ng right on this search option you must be able to search go through and search i've made videos in pa in the past about how to search for uh search for businesses right let's let's go through this um this where's the third one okay here yeah. verify you see this bimbo and tokwe it exists pyro red pen yeah bimbo and tokwe it exists so you see that even in the search you see that this name is not going to be available there's bimbo there's tokwe there's enterprise and see the name we are doing so even the ai now we now if you want to continue you can click on continue but you will see that you will have to still go through some other means of verifications to continue to, to make sure that the name is available you understand so 500 naira for the name reservation okay which is not bad so let's go back uh, i believe this is uh, important for you to take note so i can delete this delete application because it was false so you, right now you no longer have uh, multiple unneeded applications that you are uh, going through so name requesting consent so for consent so consent now has its own portal for consent don't forget consent is done for restricted names incorporated trustees that's what you do consent for so consent has its own specific um location uh registrations as well you have registrations here that your registrations are already going on you can do them here you will see them showing up here and you can do your post incorporation to here registration portal no i don't think anything changed let me check for my personal business. This is, not a, this is not a personal information. This is a public information. You can see it online anywhere, right? Okay. Okay, it's still the same thing. Nothing has changed in post incorporation. So later we're going to make in a proper video on a complete walkthrough on how you can navigate through the web. I believe with this now, you can confirm that you can log in, right? You can log into the account and then when you log in you will be able to see how to navigate through the platform so later on i'll be i'll be showing you through how you can start the registration process from beginning 
to the end right so thank you guys for watching this video subscribe to this channel right now uh, most of my viewers are not subscribed right and it doesn't make sense after doing making all the sacrifice you know creating nice content for you guys and you're not subscribing subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and make sure you make sh um you get you um click on the notification bell so that i can you know keep seeing our videos whenever we release new videos my name is Akimbola Ezekiel, and i'll see you in the next one thank you